Hello there, programmers, and welcome to the next episode in our PyQt5 uh, tutorial series. Uh, today, what we're going to do is talk about adding menus to our applications. So, um, we're going to jump straight into it now. So, we're going to start with I have a new project up in uh, PyCharm, and I'm going to install PyQt5. Okay. Once this installs, I'll go up here and create a new Python file. We'll just call this main. And then let's start building an application here. So we're going to do from uh, PyQt5, and we'll pull in Qt widgets. We'll do a Q main window this time, Q application. And then we're going to need a Q action, the Q app, lowercase Q app, and Q menu. Now, don't worry if you don't know what all of these do. I'll explain them in just a moment. Now, if you've watched any of the other episodes in this uh, tutorial series, you'll know that I tend to use Q widget to define the main window. Um, but today we're going to use the Q main window because it gives us a little bit of extra functionality that the Q widget doesn't bring by default. So let's go ahead and create a class. Um, we're going to call this my window and we're going to extend the Q main window. Then we're going to create our dunder init and initialize our window. And then we're going to create a, an init UI function here. Okay, so this method is going to be pretty straightforward for right now. So what we want to do is uh, set up the basic geometry. Um, I tend to put the window at 100, 100, and then let's just make it 300 by 300 so we can easily see all the things that we're adding to it. Okay, and then I'm going to set our window title. We're going to call this menu and status bar. Okay, and self dot show. Next, we need to define our run function with Q application. Oops, Q application. Again, we're going to pass in no arguments into it. We're going to set up our window. Uh, all of this should be pretty familiar to you at this point. If you followed along in the tutorial series, we're not doing anything special here. We're just setting up a basic window. Okay. And then from here, we do our if dunder name equals dunder name. And run. Okay, so make sure we have all the spacing, everything that we're supposed to. So this is just a basic window that we have up and running at this point. So let's see what it looks like if I run it. It's probably going to show up on my other window, but I can bring that over for you. Here we are. Just a blank window. Nothing too fancy here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at all the different status bars and menu bars you can add into an application. So let's start with the status bar. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that is the bar at the bottom of a an application window that gives you status information about the files you're working with. So to activate the status bar in the QMain window, what we do is we call self.statusbar. That activates the status bar. And then we can show a message in there and we're going to just type in a really simple message. We're going to say we're ready. Now let's look and see what happens here. If we run this, I'll bring this over here into view for you. So you can see now we have a new bar along the bottom and it tells us that we are ready to go. Now the status bar, we can add little additional widgets in here, icons, any kind of, um, additional information that we want to show about the application. But for now, uh, this is just the default 
status bar, it comes with a label ready for you to set. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now, um, let's go ahead and make a menu bar. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, to create a menu bar in PyQt, you need to mix together the menu bar itself and actions on that menu bar as well as menu items okay so all of these different things will play together to create um, the overall menu experience so what we're going to do first is we're going to set up an exit action okay so we're just going to call it exit act and we're going to set up a new queue action um, we're going to use the ampersand before a letter to do the underscore, the special underscore character. So it'll be Q underscore, and then we're going to say quit. Okay. And what we what we do in Q action is we pass the label, and then the parent. So the parent here we want to be the main window. Next, we take exit act and we can set a shortcut so this is a very common um, pattern here so if we want to say control Q is quit we do that there and then um, another thing that you'll commonly see is what's called the status tip okay quit the application okay so what this is going to do is this is actually a method that interfaces with the status bar and sets the message to whatever that tip is. So this will tell you as you scroll through your items in your menu bar what each item will do. It will show up on the bottom status bar for you. And you'll see that in action in just a moment here. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our signals and slots uh, that we learned about in the last lesson. And we're going to use the triggered signal and we're going to connect and this is where QApp comes in. QApp comes is a, a helper uh, to give us access to a few useful features and one of those useful features is quit uh, and we don't want to actually call the that method uh, what we want to do is pass in the method just the raw method itself without the parentheses there. What this means is that this method will get called when the exit action is triggered. Okay. Now we can create the menu bar. And to do that, we activate the menu bar same way that we act activate the status bar. But now we're going to assign that out here so that we can use it. Uh, and now we can say uh, menu bar dot set native menu bar to false. Now, why did we do this? Oh, capital F. Why did we do this? This is because I'm running on a Mac, and in case you've not run on a Mac before, you can see the window at the at the all the menu items at the top of the actual desktop. Okay. This is a special construct and PyQt uh, to the standard menu bars don't actually give you a way to control that. So you have to turn off the native menu bar if you're going to build for Python. Uh, or uh, Sorry, if you're going to build for Macintosh. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do this. And then um, now we should be able... Oh, yeah. No. Um, we've got a menu bar. We've got an exit action. Oh. Yeah, I guess now we actually have to attach it to something, don't we? Um, so we have to create a file menu. And to do that, we take the menu bar we just created, and we add a menu to it. And then we give the menu a name. So we'll do file. And so we'll activate it with there. And then we'll say file menu, uh, add action. And the action we're going to add is exit action. Okay. So what we've done is we've taken, we've created a menu bar. We've set the native menu bar to false. Then we create the file menu inside of that menu bar. 
and we add the action we created above into that menu. Now let's run this. Let's see what happens here. Oop. I hit the button twice. All right, let's try that again. All right. Uh, what did we do wrong here? Um, Q action has no. Oh, did I spell triggered wrong? T R I G G E R. Oh, E D. There we go. Look at that. I even have autocomplete and assist, and I still spelled it wrong. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And now I'll bring this over here for you to see. So we have menu and status bar, we have ready, and we have a file menu. So if I click in here and I scroll over that, you can see at the bottom of the app of the bar there that it now says quit the application. That's our helper text. If I click on this, you'll see the application goes away. So it calls that qapp.quit when we trigger that menu item. Okay, now there's only one other topic to talk about here. Um, let's talk about doing nested menus, okay? Because that's another common feature of menu items. So let's call this uh, the new menu, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to use a Q menu. And we're going to say this is new. And we're attaching it to self, okay? And then we're going to create an action, okay? And you'll see what's happening here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a nested menu with new file underneath it. And we're also going to attach this to self. All right. Now the new action, uh, we're going to set the status tip to make new files or something like that. doesn't matter. It'll just show up on the bottom. And then we're going to add an action to the new menu okay so you can see here what we've done is we've we've created a new menu item using q menu so this is the other way to create menus instead of using what we did down here which is the add menu this actually creates a menu as well um, but this is the way for us to manually create a menu create an action and attach it to that menu now what we can do is come down here and uh, in our file menu, we can say file menu dot add menu instead of add action. And we can call this our new menu. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add another menu option into our file menu. So when we run all this, I'll go ahead and scroll this over here. I'll click file and you can see now we have a nested new with a new file. If you click on this, nothing happens because we didn't actually attach anything to triggered, but uh, you can see how to do that now. Okay. That's it. That's all there is to it. That's menu bars and um, status bars. Uh, so next time uh, we'll probably dig into some details on layouts and actually creating a UI application. So I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.